Hi, I'm Bhavish, and in this video, we are going to look at run SQL HTM or also run SQL statements. So, this command is one of the most frequently used commands when you write a CL program, and uh, it would be really useful because uh, it will allow you to update your physical files, logical files from a CL program. So, it basically runs SQL from your CL. So we are going to look at a very basic example of uh, run SQL HTM from CL program. This is a simple program which I have copy pasted into Visual Studio Code. What it does is it has PGM and PGM which marks the boundaries of the program. It has the run SQL HTM line uh, which specifies two parameters. Basically, it specifies the location of the program that is my library name vnande1 slash the source physical file name that is qsqlsrc so this is the place where your sql statement resides which we will talk about in a moment so it specifies a position of a it specifies a member and the source physical file and the library in which the member resides the member is update pomp so if you can see there is a tab open in my visual studio code which is connected with as400 and uh, there is an sql statement here so I've written a sample sample SQL statement, which is update my table name. That is my update my physical file or logical file. Set the column name value 208, where a key is matching with a specific unique key number with no commitment control. So this is a sample SQL statement, which I have written in update comp.sql, which resides in qsqlsrc in my library. So we can demonstrate with creation of a new member. So UPD COMP dot SQL. Let's create a new member for demonstration purposes. So I've created a new member, update COMP or update COMP. Yeah, update COMP dot SQL. Uh, let's write a basic SQL statement here to update my file name, which is present in so let's look at the file as well so this is my file my physical file or logical file whatever this is in my library so if i look at the data it has some rows and columns or fields and uh, rows and uh, what we are going to do is we are going to update one of the value so instead of bank of korea we can change it to state bank of india the state bank of india we want to change in the second last row which is present with nyc id of 606 so our sql statement is going to be update my file name set name equal to state bank of india where the key field is NYC ID which is going to be equal to 606 and we require with NC because we do not have journaling enabled and there is no commitment control we can set commitment control in one of the parameters which we will see later on but this is a basic SQL query which should get executed we'll save it we do not need to compile the query unlike QMQRY which requires compilation this does not require compilation you can look at the file store in as 400 as well in qsql src in my library i have updates ump and it has my query saved so it looks like the query did not fit so to fix that we will be modifying our query again and taking it to the next line should work okay with NC. We have a proper query now. Let's save it and uh, look at it from AS400. So, yeah, we have this query prepared. So this query resides in our library, Binande1, QSQLSRC, and the member name or the query name is UPDCOMP. It is of type SQL. So, we give a .SQL extension although i do not think that is mandatory but uh, we have to mention the proper location of the query here 
and the proper member name so our query is going to be update instead of up update it is upd comp so upd comp member in bnandevan slash qsqlsrc and upon successful query execution we are printing a statement as ql statement executed successfully let's save the cl program and compile it with control e let's select create cl program that is crt clp which creates an automatic statement of crt clp gm and hit enter it says that the cl program compiled successfully let's run the cl program now we're going to call test 120 in my library and uh, yeah it says sql statement executed successfully so let's look at the physical file now and the data is now changed from bank of korea to state bank of india at pp 606 so if you have an error in your sql query so for example if you make a mistake in writing a query like for example if you give a wrong column name instead of name i have written name file so if your query is wrong and then if you run your uh, cl program it will give you an error so there is no exception handling or mon message done in the cl program which we can exceed i mean which we can easily do so we'll just copy the mon message code or exception handling code which we had in one of the previous cl programs we need to change the sql message so this is a generic sql message which is returned uh, when there is a error in executing the cl program we can look at the uh, full form of the exception the display message description sql 9010 and the message file is qsql msg so the message is run sql stm or run sql command field so this is a generic sql message which we are going to catch and we'll print a exception message sql execution failed let's save it and compile it with control e crtclp and it says compilation successful let's run it again let's call statement and now it did not fail the program did not fail because the exception is caught this sql execution failed and return so it did not execute my sql statement ex executed successfully command and it directly ended the program after sql execution failed so we have demonstrated a simple sql execution through cl this is very powerful because it gives us the power to run sql queries update physical files logical files and uh, add records to a physical and logical file and so on although note that select statements are not allowed because uh, the output will not be shown on the screen so you cannot execute a cl program with an sql which has select statement it is also specified in ibm support documentation which specifies here in the note that we cannot use sql command select with run sql stm also note that we have a lot of other options or other parameters with our uh, run sql stm so if i go to my qclsrc if i modify my program and in on the run sql stm if i do f4 you can see that i can mention a lot of different parameters which can be useful you can give a label we have already used these parameters which locates the query it specifies the source physical file library and the member name where the sql query resides you can also specify the query in a stream file which will reside in an ifs directory this is something which we can explore you can specify the commitment control so if we did not want to write with nc we could have changed this to none there is a parameter called naming which i do not know what it means so we can press always press f1 to understand more so naming convention okay so naming convention will specify how your sql objects are named 
So sys naming convention is library name slash file name and SQL naming convention will be schema name dot table name. So it is probably have to do it probably has to do with the way in which we have written this inside of our SQL query is update the physical file or logical file which is my library slash physical file name so instead of writing slash we can also use a dot use star SQL over here and we can write a comment so all these parameters are present which we can use with our run SQL HTM when we write our CL programs so that is it for today where we covered running SQL statements from a CL program if you do like these videos kindly consider subscribing to the channel thank you for watching we'll see you next time